Oh my gosh, you guys, I just logged into Star Stable and I almost forgot that the Icelandics were dropping today. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. And they also added a new pet tab, I guess. Not surprised. Their pets are so expensive, they want everyone to buy them. Buy our pets. They're expensive. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> so I haven't given my opinion about the nose band bridle yet and to be honest I'm gonna save that for later okay we're gonna go to New Hillcrest and we're gonna look at the new Icelandics I can't believe that they dropped today I'm so excited I'm really sad you guys because I was really hoping that they would update all of the old coats because they had such beautiful ones like the Bay Pinto and there was also the um, Palomino the Wild Bay. The Wild Bay was so pretty. And then also the um, Grulo done. It was very pretty and brown and the new one is like... Editor Selby here. I also wanted to add that the gray coat was probably one of my most favorite Icelandic coats. And I really hope that they add it back. Sorry, my boyfriend called me. But yeah, so they kept all the old Icelandics over here for some reason. I wonder if they will update this coat and this coat and this coat and this coat dude this was my very first Icelandic horse and I'm so sad that they didn't update this one because this one was so beautiful so and they didn't update this wild bay coat which is really a shame because this is like probably the most basic Icelandic and they didn't update that one and look how nice and white this one was I think the new white one is gonna be like a lot more grayish but I think that's going to be added in the horses app. And then they updated the uh, silver dapple, but they made it look completely different. They didn't even give it white mane. They gave it, um, like, blonde mane. Well, we'll see. I'm so sad that they didn't update all of the coats. I was really hoping for all of them, but these are the ones we have. Oh, God. Okay, so the orange, the chestnut one is probably in Fort Pinta. I think these ones are just all of the ones we have right now. So there's the silver dapple. I think this one's really pretty. It just doesn't look anything like the old one. Like, it doesn't have the blue eyes. Mine was named Frost Maniac, and he had blue eyes, and this one doesn't have blue eyes, but... It's still a really pretty horse. I'll probably just make him his own thing. I probably won't reincarnate my old silver dapple. And then this one is a brand new one, because this was like a new coat that was, um... discovered in the Icelandics. They have like a new color gene or something. I think this one is like a Sabina. Let me let me look at Star Stable News because they usually explain what the coats are whenever there are six charming colors for you to choose from. Wow, thanks Star Stable for telling me what they are. By the way, you're gonna be hearing my washer in the background. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna guess that this, was, that this one is like a Sabina or something. I'm probably wrong. It, correct me in the comments. This one is the Grulo. It's so gray. The old one was like really brown and pretty and this one is like gray and black. But it's really pretty. I actually like this coat a lot. I I think that I'm gonna love this coat. Wait, is one of the eyes brown? One eye. Oh my god you guys, one eye is brown and one eye has like some dark blue color. That's so pretty. Wow, that's really cute. And then here's the black and white one. This one has just brown eyes. It's really cute. I love this one. I think this is going to be like the favorite amongst the community because it has like the perfect mix of black and white and it has all these really good details and everything. Oh, I want to hurry up and buy one, but I kind of want the chestnut one to be my first one because I just, I'm really excited to have that one. <laughs> I don't know why. And here's the, um, ew, okay. What is this? Like some kind of liver chestnut? Is it a black? I can't even tell what kind of coat this is. It's so... it's got like a really nice black coat. Okay, it's like really nice and matte. It's almost like a seal bay because you can see a little bit of brown. But then the mane is like really orange and it's so weird. Why is it so orange? I kind of don't really like this horse that much. I think they kind of messed up on the mane. Because like, if you look really close, you can see how the the fur 
is like a gray and then this is like chocolate brown like it doesn't even match Ugh, I don't like that coat very much I'm not gonna lie I kind of hate it I haven't reviewed new horses in a really long time but Star Stable they they already kind of let me down in two ways first they didn't add all of the old coats that they used to have which I hope they do I hope they do add the Bay Pinto and the gray and Palomino and the Wild Bay because those coats were amazing. I also really liked the pure black one, not gonna lie. And if they don't, I will be very sad. <laughs> and maybe they could also add like a like a brown grulo like the old one, just just to make it complete, but they don't have to. I more just want the Bay Pinto, the Wild Bay, and the Gray. I definitely want the Dapple Gray or the regular is it just a gray? Because it doesn't have intense dapples or anything. I don't know. I can't tell. And they can add the Palomino because those ones were like iconic. Those were iconic. I didn't like the Palomino Icelandic ever, but the reason I didn't like the Palomino Icelandic was because I thought that the face markings were really weird. How there was like a white splotch on one side that didn't match the other side and they were like, they look like a like a skull like does anybody else remember that i hate that marking and if they do redo the palomino icelandic i hope that they make it look a lot cuter and more like real icelandic markings maybe if they remake it it'll be cuter so here's the chestnut oh my gosh this one is so pretty see this is what i'm talking about this is how you do a horse coat see how the coat matches the root of the mane when the roots of the mane match the coat, then I'm happy. And I love that it fades into this beautiful blondy chestnut color. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. This tail also kind of reminds me of the fjord tail a little bit. It's kind of strange how it just kind of... It doesn't fade the same way the mane does, which is... I don't know if I like that very much because it's like... It's like chestnut and then blonde. It's like, um, okay. But this one is probably still my favorite out of all of them just because of this front area. I really like the front. So yeah, I'm gonna buy this one first. I usually don't get chestnuts first, but because chestnuts are actually not my favorite coat. Like, I would say chestnuts are, I, I don't know. I used to not like them at all, but I, I think I like chestnuts more than I give myself credit for. But not as much as Dapple Grey. Grey horses will always be my favorite. The only reason I'm not getting the Grulo first is because I, I feel like I just trained dark horses, you know? And I haven't trained, trained a chestnut in a long time, so... I think his name was Flame Dust. Yeah, here we go. Oh my gosh, I got flame dust. Fladen is his nickname. I'm so excited to train him. Well, actually, I don't, I'm not really excited to do training because training is boring, but I'm excited to ride him and stuff and try out his animations. Woo! I know that it took me a while to buy him, but I just really wanted to talk about my opinions on everything and give you guys the insight on what I'm thinking about the, the Icelandics as an older player who like I literally almost have all of the Icelandics from generation 2 so <laughs> I, I feel like the Icelandics are pretty close to my heart as an older player like I don't ride them anymore you know because they're old but um, I still I still really care about them Okay, bye-bye, Owl. I'm gonna get on this chestnut horse. Bye! Alright. Oh my gosh, this horse is so cute. Oh, he's adorable. He's such a little squirt. You know, these are... Are these the, anything like the old ones? Here, let me... The old flame dust anyway, because I have to sell him. Let's compare... Okay. Ugh. Right off the bat, we all notice the color difference. The new chestnut is really, really red, like really bright red compared to this this one. This one's a lot more saturated. Um, the mane, I mean, obviously, the mane is so much better than it used to be. This mane is so moldy. And this mane doesn't have any animations. It just kind of like, it's stuck to the neck, whereas this one has animations and look at the eyes like the eyes are so different 
these I think that these eyes have like way bigger pupils and these ones are smaller and then also there's like the sn the snoots the little snoots well Flayden you have been reincarnated so I have to kill your old form <laughs> oh my gosh I'm sorry Flayden but you're you're gonna have to be reincarnated now You only have one body to worry about from now on. You don't have to worry about two of them. All right. So now we have reincarnated my horse. Oh my gosh, he is so cute. All right, so let's make an outfit for him because yeah, that's what you do. You gotta get a new horse and get him an outfit. So I'm gonna put this on. Okay, so this is like one of my favorite outfits right now. I love the, um, the blue and the, um, like, I just, I love, I love the way that this saddle pad and these leg wraps look. It's really hard to find a matching shirt that doesn't have, like, other crap on it, you know? Like, I wish it was just this sweater and with no words on the front. Or, like, maybe this could be on the front. Like, that would be cute, but, like... I really like this new pasture. Here's the walk. Very cute. I like the walking animation a lot. I think it's really nice. And then here's the trot. Very nice trot. It feels like the back legs kind of stretch back really far. But it doesn't look totally unnatural to me. It actually, I don't know, it looks, it looks pretty good. And then here's the canter. I love how the mane bounces. It's so bouncy. Yeah, I like the way that this looks. This looks really nice. And then here's the gallop. Okay, that's weird. This is the this is the, the slow gallop animation. It's a pace. I knew this was going to happen. And I'm very confused because how do you how does a horse switch from canter to pace? Is that a thing that the that the Icelandics do in real life? Cause I thought they go from tolt to pace. Isn't that what it is? Okay, well, and then here's the You know, that doesn't look completely unnatural doing the switch. It's it's just a little strange, I guess. And then here's the fast gallop. Why does the mane look so weird right here? Like it looks like it bends. It's like bending. Yeah, that looks strange right there in this creasy area. <laughs> the mane just looks so weird. I don't know. I'm not used to that. That's that's very strange to me. All right, now we're going to look at the Tolt animation. Oh, it's cute. This is really slow. I feel like the old Tolt was... Yeah, the old Tolt was way faster. This is a very slow Tolt, if I've ever seen one. Hmm. Interesting. You know, I feel like they should have done... They should have done where you get to trot and then then you tolt after trot and then you pace when you go up from there and then they should have made the slow gallop its own animation that's what I think I think it should go from tolt to pace and then it should be canter to slow gallop to fast gallop like that's how it should always be for Icelandics because that's how they are in real life isn't it I've watched enough Icelandic videos at this point. I kind of know what their gates are like. And I don't think this is right. Because that just feels so weird to me. To see them go back into to a kind of trot-like movement after just being in a canter. You know what I mean? I'm not a professional equestrian or anything. I'm just saying that that looks a little weird. Based on what I do know about horses. Anyways, so now we're going to go look at the main styles because we, we have to look at them. Alright, so we have the braids, which is 
interesting because instead of doing braids like they normally do, they kept the front of the mane with cute little bangs. Can you not look down, you freaking cow? Okay. The, the bangs do get smaller, though. It's pretty cute. That's honestly really adorable. I actually like this. I like this a lot. When I get more Icelandics, I will probably use that main style, but I really like the full mane here. And then we have the regular braids, so you can do either or. Which I like that they give you the options. And then there's this mane, which, what the heck is going on? And you go to your stable, and then you go to your items, and then you just put your food and water away. It's very useful if you're just trying to actually look at your horse's mane without having to use, deal with the stupid cameras that they have in the game. Oh my god, you guys, I hate the hairstylist cameras. They are the worst. You open the horsey menu, and then you go to the shop, and then you, um... I think you X out of- or you click the question mark and then you get out of there. And then, you go over to the, um, hairstylist for your horse. Yes, that's what you do. And then you go in here and then you can X out of that. And then you'll be able to look at the main styles without killing yourself. Alright, cool. So, <laughs> we figured out how to do a bug today. This is such an easy bug to do, I feel like uh, nobody should get banned for this. So, you can make your horse bald. Why would they choose that? Why would you just... Why would you do this? It looks so weird without any mane. What the heck? Why? Why did they add... Why did they add a bald main style? Is this is an actual thing that people do to Icelandics. Do people cut off their beautiful mane? I don't understand. Why would you make your horse bald? Okay, well then they also added a roached mane. I feel like this roached mane is really short. You know, it also doesn't look very realistic at all. It looks kind of clunky. Why does it look so clunky? You know what I mean? Like it looks like a, like it's from Roblox or something. <laughs> this doesn't look anything like the Fjord main. It looks clunky as heck. I think I like the Finn Horse Roached main more. I think it's, this one's just not a big enough roach for me. I mean, it's kind of cute. I might use it on a different horse, but I'm not sure. And then there's this main. What the heck is this? It's so weird and spiky. It looks like... You know what this mane reminds me of? This mane reminds me of... Or G1 ponies. This just doesn't look right. It looks so weird. I hate it. I, I actually don't like the manes very much. I don't like the mane options. And then there's this mane, which is like a shorter mane, I guess. It's pretty good. It's, I mean, it's not, like, amazing, but it will probably look good on one of the horses. You know what? Maybe, maybe that one ugly black horse with the weird chestnut mane, maybe that horse will look good in, in this mane. <laughs> Either this one or this one, or maybe that one, or maybe the roached one. We'll have to just try out that horse when we get it. I don't know if I will make a video reviewing all of the different mains. I'm not sure. I think you can just go watch a, that one spoiler video again because I think they show all of the mains, but yeah. I actually really hate this main. Like, I want it to die. Star Stable, what were you thinking? Let me... Oh, well, screw. <laughs> can I just do this again, but like easier. Uh, oh, hello. Okay. This works. So, just like, there's like spikes of hair sticking out. And the shading just looks bad on it. Like, what the heck? It looks so 
weird. It doesn't even look, it just, it just looks wrong. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. This one looks pretty cute. I like the short mane. Yeah, it looks cute. What the heck is this mane? Like, I can't, I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. You know, like, why, why do this, but then leave the tail? Like, why don't you just make the whole horse bald? You know what I mean? This is just strange. This braid, these braids look good. I like the braids. They look, braids always look good, though, like on every single horse. Does it, wait, does it have a thick braid in the front? It looks like it's got, like, a ball on its head. <laughs> It looks kind of goofy. I'm not gonna lie. I think yeah, I think it was good for them to like leave the forelock on this one because it looks. It, this one is pretty cute. I would probably use this on a, on one of my other horses. But yeah, I'm leaving. I'm leaving Flayden's mane the way it is, because I like it the way it is, and you know. Oh yeah, I didn't show you this jump. The jump is very strange. Okay. So here's the canter jump, and then here's the pace jump, which is so weird to me. What the heck? Pace jump? Are you serious? That should be illegal. And then there's this jump. Okay. The rear is so pathetic. <laughs> it's such a little pathetic career. The horse is just like, eh. Eh. <laughs> Let's go do the Icelandic race. Let's do it on the new horses. Wow. Why not? Let's try it out. It'll probably be hilarious. I can't wait to see how pathetic my horse looks. I'm doing this slow like they should have had they should have added a faster tolt because like yes there is the pace okay yes there is the pace which this is more accurate but I feel like it should go from tolt to pace you know because it just doesn't make sense to be cantering and then pacing and then because this is basically just a fast trot like you're going from canter to trot to gallop and that doesn't make any sense <laughs> not gonna lie, their gallop kind of looks like a little bit of a pace too, but I, I'm not sure. I just, I still think it just doesn't look right to me. It hurts my brain. My brain is very sensitive, <laughs> clearly. But I, st I'm not. I, I seriously think that everybody is gonna agree with me that it's just weird, right? Like it's just strange to go from a canter up to a trot movement and then to a gallop like you know what I mean anyways yeah so let's do the Icelandic race they should make it so that curlies and um, percherons can do this oh uh, <laughs> okay well I kind of screwed up can I restart let's restart okay All right, let's try to do this race on this horse. Cause the tolt is extremely slow. Like, look at how slow this is. Are you telling me that I'm supposed to do this slow tolt the entire race? Nobody's gonna wanna do this. This is why you should be able to pace in your tolt movement. Can you do the pace? No, you'll get in trouble. And pace is just a fast tolt. I'm screaming. <laughs> I'm so upset about this. This is something, this is one of those things in Star Stable that I wish that the game devs would think about before doing the horses. You know, it would be nice if we could leave feedback on horses before they make them the way that they are. No! Are you kidding me? I got there in time. <laughs> 
Okay, I have to do a circle. How dare you? This tolt is like way too slow for this race. You guys, what is this? Like, I'm just moving like a little turtle. You see, I feel like, you know, I won't be able to sell all of my Icelandics for sure because, like, this race is so slow with this horse. They should definitely allow curlies and percherons because I'm pretty sure the curly tolt is faster than this tolt. You know what I mean? Like, they should allow us to... They should just switch the pace. Switch the pace and put it in... Like, make it go from tolt to pace and then add, like, a different slow gallop animation or something. That would make sense. Because that would just make sense. Like, ask anyone who rides Icelandics. Ask anyone. And they will tell you that, yeah, that would make more sense. Okay, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna shut up and stop complaining because I feel like I've been arguing the same point for like 10 hours. Alright. Yes, we're slow on this race, but... Whatever. That's just what we have to deal with now because Star Stable decided to poop out another horse without really asking the community or asking for feedback or anything. And they wouldn't even take our consideration anyway. Even if we did, even if we did give our opinion about the way that they were creating them, they probably wouldn't care. They're just going to pump them out anyway, because that's what they did with the Frisians. So, whatever. They don't even care about our feedback. They're like, here's a horse, buy the horse, and yep, that's all we, that's what we do. Anyways, so, if I could rate this horse between 1 and 10, 10 being highest, 1 being like the worst horse ever, um, I would give this updated Icelandic, like, a six. I'm, I'm just being honest. A lot of the animations are cute, yes, but, like, there's so many flaws with this horse. Like, oh my god, even that animation was kind of cringe just now. There's so many flaws. Like, the main styles are kind of weird, and the tolt is really slow, and then the, the pace is, like, in between the canter and the gallop and it just makes me feel weird and I don't like it. I just, there's a lot of, this horse just feels weird, you know? It doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel like an Icelandic to me. It feels kind of like a buggy weird horse. I will probably buy some of them. I'm not gonna buy all of them because I don't want to give Star Stable all my money for making a horse that's kind of half-assed and it's not really what I, it's not really what I was hoping for, you know? Um, so I'll probably just buy, like, a couple of them, but these are not good enough to replace the original Icelandics, you know? They don't have- they have some flaws that they need- they need worked out. They need to be worked on. Star Stable needs to actually go through and fix some of the Generation 3 horses before they start adding new ones. They need to fix the Frisians, fix these horses, and I'm pretty sure there's other horses they need to fix too. Like, I'm pretty sure the quarter horses are broken right now, and the ice I know that the uh, Lusitanos are broken as well. They have messed up animations. So, Star Stable, if you could please fix your horses, um, that would be great. So, I also haven't reviewed the um, new bridles that were added yet, and I wanted to go over why I think that this bridle was a terrible idea on Star Stable's part. Okay, so... <laughs> Let's begin, shall we? So, what do you notice when I when I switch from this English bridle to this bridle? The noseband is in a significantly different place than that bridle was, okay? This bridle is like all the way over the frick on the lowest part of the nose possible. And there is a big problem with this, and I think that it's important to talk about. 
When a noseband is this low on the horse, it's not resting on the actual nasal bone, which is more up here. It's resting, like, outside of the, no the nasal bone. And let me see if I have some examples. Alright, so, this is something that I made um, when the bridle was first spoiled. So, here's where the bridle should be, and here is where the nasal bone is. And it looks like that's where that's about where it is on the horse. And you can see that this bone is extremely thin. It has a very high risk of breaking when it's past this point. It can literally break the horse's nasal bone if it's pulled too hard. And that's not a really great message to put in a kid's game for horses, okay? Like, I don't know why they added this tack when we've been asking for, like, lead ropes and blankets. You know, basic stuff for a really long time. But no, they add, like, abusive tack into the game. And I, if I don't talk about this, nobody else will. So I have to be the one to talk about this. This is wrong. This tack is abusive. So big, huge F for Star Stable. This is the worst tack that they've ever added into the game, and I hate it. It's, I mean, it's it's just as bad as, as this crap. Like, look at this huge bit. I just, I hate this tack so much. It's the worst thing ever. So, please do not buy these unless you're buying them with shillings. But don't even use the, don't even use this tack. It's just, I mean, you can do what you want at the end of the day, but I really think that this tack is not great. It should not have been added into the game. It's awful. It just makes me upset to see this. So yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And as always, I'll see you next time.